Am I just starting right now? <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Sorry, I was just staring at the at the screen like a crazy person. Oh my gosh. How is everyone doing? Oh my gosh, so many people are here. Well, I'm so happy to um, be partnering with Dubsado and showing you guys how to how I use Dubsado as a coach. And so for those of you guys who don't know who I am, my name is Jamar Diggs. I'm a social media and business coach for coaches, consultants, um, experts who are looking to turn their followers into high paying clients. And so most of the time, um, people that I work with, they think that just because they launch People are going to, oh, it is, yeah. People are going to just like come. And um, I kind of give them the tough love that that they need and let them know what is the proper way to get people in, in your tribe to actually uh, want to give you money through social media. Because it's not if you build it, people will come. It's if you market it, people will come. So let's jump into Dubsado, okay? So I'm going to try to share my screen. And I have created a demo account inside Dubsado just to protect my client's information. And so you should see my dashboard right now. Okay, so a um, few things that I like want to mention about Dubsado is that it's so, so easy to make things look crazy professional. Like I love that that Dubsado is like a one-stop shop for everything that I need. Like I can literally manage my entire business with Dubsado with ease. And so one thing that I um, like the most is being able to email, schedule. Um, I love the client portal and I love the, um, the contracts and application process that I have put into place. So um, let's go ahead and dive into that. One second. So I, so first things first, whenever you are um, doing anything inside Dubsado, it's very important to kind of just kind of map out how you, how you typically work with people and then set up templates. And so I want to show you the two templates that I use the most, right? So I use the lead capture template and so I, so I use lead capture forms and contracts the most inside Dubsado. And so one way that I um, make sure that all of the people that um, want to work with me are like qualified enough is that I create a sales call application. And so this application just ensures that people are ready to be client magnets, okay? And um, and that they kind of check out um, and like they're ready to like either invest or they're in the right stage of their business to work with me. And so all of these things are like, I designed this whole thing inside Dubsado. Right. And so I'm able to ask these questions that are very important whenever I get on sales calls with people. And then so the funny thing is, that, like, I also like to add in these little graphics and stuff, because um, whenever they're getting down to like a new to like a new section, I add in like a little testimonial here um, just to kind of get them seeing like how life can look like whenever they work with me. Right. And then they answer questions like what is their, 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 their biggest challenges? Um, how does their business look like? Um, like what is their 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 dream business? Because this is going to be the opportunity that I'm able to kind of see what are they struggling with, like what is the bottlenecks in their business, and how can I help them reach their goals? And then of course we always have to cover like the budget, right? And so I have that here, and so I'm able to, so I'm so 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 I'm able to um, figure out who who this person is, like have a really good idea of the type of person that I would be potentially working with or jumping on a call with. So um, this so this application process is so easy. Um, it all I have to do is just share a link, and like this sales call application can can be into in my link in bio on Instagram. I can put it um, in my like in in my email signature. I can just easily share it anywhere. So um, one thing that I <laughs> one thing that I am so against is um, like having too many discovery calls um, because sometimes they can eat up the day and like your day is for your clients and also for you. And so um, this application process that I have built into Dubsado really helps me weed out the people who are just kind of tire kickers or aren't really ready to commit or maybe haven't even heard of me and they're just like, I just need a social media coach. But they don't really know exactly what they need or maybe they're not in like the right headspace to hire a coach. This application process 
helps them kind of condition themselves to say, okay, am I really ready to hire a social media coach? Or am I ready to even like invest in any type of like coaching period, right? And so that's one process that I do. And then I also wanna show you how easy it is to put in my contracts too. So um, I just go back to forms and the, coaching agreement here. So, so this is like my one-on-one -on -one coaching agreement and um, that I get it vetted by my lawyer. And so the easy thing that I love about Dubsado is, so I have all this stuff here. I can easily edit it. And I'll show you that whenever we talk about projects, but I can easily edit it. And um, it has a spot for me to sign and for my um, clients to sign. So I don't have to like have them like um, do something, some weird thing where they have like, print out the contract and then sign it or it's just it's just it it really eliminates the back and forth and then I can just literally just send this to them and then have them um sign it through Dubsado and then and then Dubsado sends me a a little email saying that they have um signed their contract and then we're good to move on to sending them the invoice as well and so with with so with this section um I like it because so in this contract, so in this contract section, I not only do like my one-on-one -on -one coaching agreements, but I also have my independent contractor um, uh, contract template. I and also like my guest expert speaking. So I have a group coaching program um, that that had just launched and is starting next week called called Posting for Profit. And all of my guest experts um, signed a guest expert coaching agreement, right? And so um, Dubsado isn't just for like client management. It also man it, it also meant like, like manages my back end. So all of my contractors that I hire, they they have their contract that um they have an independent contractor agreement that details our terms and the length of, of our agreement of working together and things like that. And then the same thing happens with our group coaching program um, for the guest coaches. So Dubsado is like that one step shop for me. Like it's like my little HR thing kind of, and then also how I like um kind of process contractors as well. So I hope this makes sense so far. All right. And so another thing that I want to show you. So um like the way that I kind of prepared Dubsado is um my canned email. So this is like another thing that makes it super easy to um, work inside Dubsado. So if you ever feel like you've sent the same email multiple times <laughs> and you're like, I wish that I don't have to type this same thing over and over and over again, guess what? With, with Dubsado, you do not have to because you can create canned email responses for everything that you have. So um, so I have a whole process. So um, I made, so this is kind of what I have as like the foundation of my um, emails. And so for, so for example, I have my template for um, saying that your application is pending. I have an email template um, for whenever that patient is approved. I have um, a canned email for reminding people of their appointments. And I also have a feedback survey um, one that I'll show you in a minute. And then I also, I don't know if, if you guys have heard of this email. So um, th like the magic email, I have no idea where, where I got it from. I've, I've been using it for years, but um, it's just a simple <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, it's like this, this, this thing where you kind of ask them for the no so that you can move on. <laughs> and um, it's just basically like client name. Since I have not heard from you on this, I have to assume that your priorities have changed. And this is only the email that I send if like, I've been talking to someone for a very long time and they've been very on the fence and I have not heard from them at, at all. And I may be a little bit tired of following up with them. And so I'm like, I think you're going to say no. Maybe you should just tell me no and that you're good to go. Um, or maybe um, or maybe you'll just let me know that like you're still thinking and that you're ready to move on for next week or something. And so this email allows people to kind of like either um, like either take action or tell me that like that 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 they're not. So I always have that email. So if I've ever been like, been, like working with someone, I would just kind of just add this as an email template and then um, just send it over to them. Um, and I have my onboarding emails and I also have a no thank you letter. So if anyone is not a good fit for one-on-one um, -on -one coaching and they did apply, I have a really nice email that, um, that that talks about like, you know, probably like why they weren't a good fit. And if they, and if I recommend them, um, if I recommend them like reapplying with more information or, or, or anything like that, um, that way I don't have to 
kind of take so much time and kind of like think about like how do I let them down easily? I I I already have a nice like a really nice template that lets them down easy or gives them hope for like next time that 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 they apply. And then I also have a template for when they send an invoice. So whenever I send an invoice and a contract to like, to them, like if they um if they are approved and they're like ready to go, um and just going back here, um, showing you like the feedback server. I think um, two things that I want to show you is the new client onboarding email. So one thing that I like like about this is um, whenever you have these templates, you can um, pre you can pre um, kind of put little um, placeholders for your links that you're going to be sharing with them soon, right? So for example, I have so in this one, I have. Um, that they're going to have access to Voxer, that's great. And the, but then, when, so whenever they have material reviews, um, they need a link to to a Google Drive folder, right? And so I create the link for, for Google Drive, and I know that I'm going to put it into their client portal that we'll talk about in a minute. But um, I can just put the link here, and then whenever I load it to their project, I'll be able to easily like I don't have to um, copy and paste this link multiple times. I just know that link's gonna go here and then Dubsado is gonna say, hey, um, the link attached to this project is the one that you're looking to, is the, is the, is the, um, is the link that you're gonna to wanna to put inside this email. And then same thing for the scheduler link. Um, and so I just wanna show you that too. It's, it's super easy to kind of just like not having to type the same thing over and over again. And um, with the scheduler, um, I love using because it allows me to just easily schedule things out for people. Like for my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, um, my uh, my availability is the same for everyone. And so all I have to do is just attach the scheduler to their account, to their project. And all I have to do is um, just send it out, out to them whenever um, they first start and then add it to their, and then it adds to their portal, which is like their one-stop hub so that um, at any time they can schedule another meeting whenever they want. I don't have to keep sending them like this, like a different link each time. This is very easy to make. And um, this is also the link for my sales call. So like some people use Acuity or Calendly. I love that Dubsado has a scheduler already. I love that Dubsado already has a calendar put in place um, so that I can easily just kind of connect it all, all, all in one and save some time on my end, some time and money on my end. Um, so let's see, what else do I want to show you? Um, oh, also packages. It makes it so, um, it say, say, for example, if you get a new client and, um, it's the same thing over and over, like you have the same offers and the same, um, services, um, that, that you sell, you can just create packages right here. Okay. So I put my packages here. So I have four things that I sell in a one-to-one -one container. And so I have my VIP intensive and my three levels of one-to-one -one coaching. Right. And so, um, whenever someone signs with me, I don't have to go into their, um, project. I don't have to like create everything from scratch, like their invoices from scratch. All I have to do is just select one of these I already pre-made and it's so easy to make them. And so, cause all you have to do is just add a package right here and then add a new line item and then just make make the one invoice that you have, have, like, have to do. And then whenever you're ready to um, create a new client, which we'll do in a second, you'll see it. So I'm going to um, pause for a quick second and kind of show you it all together. Hopefully this is making sense. Let me just check back and see what everyone. Great, okay. Okay, so let's go to a project. So let's say I I wanna show you like a current client, I mean, a, a, a current client example. And so this is like a project. So this is like whenever someone works works with you, they have their own like account. They have their own like little profile inside Dubsado. And so um, you're able to get all that information inside there. And so, for example, when they are submitting their application, it automatically creates a project. So as soon as they cre like create a, um, as soon as they submit their 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 application, it creates. Um, this little like world, right? And so it has a client name, email, company name, stuff like that. It has everything already, right? And um, 
So now what I get to do is whenever I meet with them and like they're ready to go, all I have to do is like onboard them. And so with onboarding, like I said before, um, my clients get um, access to their Google Drive folder and all that other stuff. And so what I'm able to do is this little, this like amazing thing that I love so much. And so um, I can I can create links that live inside Dubsado for them and in their um, their client portal, right? So I can, so say that I don't wanna send them like a long Google Drive link or like this like crazy link. I, I just want it to be a button or a hyperlink that I can always link to whenever I need to. Well, all I can, so what I can do is just put it into their, put it into their um, project and then they have access to it. And then I can always link, link to it whenever I want. And uh, what I did was I created like a form on which it isn't a form, but it's a, you scroll down and it's a one-time link right here. And then all you do is just name the link and then put the link here. And so for example, the, like, I mean, I, I, I linked this to, um, to like, I link this to like my website, but this will link to someone's Google Drive folder inside my account, so that um, they'll have access to um, their assets or anything like that that that, um, that they want to share with me. So, um, and then it's going to live in here. Oh, also, sorry. Um, so we have the Google Drive link, and then we have the appointment calendar. So whenever they become a new client, I add a scheduler for them. I add the scheduler um, template here, so that they'll have access to it at all times um, to schedule their um, as many um, sessions as they as their contract allows. And um, one thing that I love about the scheduler that I probably forgot to mention is like when you uh, when you make it, you get to choose, you get to choose how many times someone can either book book it or um, you, you can choose how many times it can be booked in a day. So I only like to do um, three one-on-one -on -one coaching calls a day. So um, so Dubsado will make sure that, like, in according to like my calendar, um, if there's like if there's three um, coaching calls that are scheduled for that day, they will not make that available to them. It, even though my availability says that I am open, but um, I but I've capped the coaching calls for, for for that moment for that day. I hope that makes sense. So um, I want to also show you their portal. So um, the portal is like where is where um, the client has access to everything that they have um, that that they that, that that they have been given. So anything from like um, past emails, um, they can review their contract in there. They can see their invoices in there. They can also see um, their schedulers and their um, and their like one time links. So I'm going to show you Rebecca Joe's one. And so the the cool thing about Dubsado is that you can make it so that the password is just their email, or you can create a password for them, or they can create a password. And so this is a demo account, and so it's not pretty, but you can you can pimp out this entire portal. Like you like you can um you can totally design this header, put your logo here. There have been some pretty ones in in the past that I've seen too. And so here you have the home, and so right here you'll see um like my business info, the emails that are unread that have been sent to the client, any invoices that are open, and any forms that they have not. Completely like this is like their little like hub, and then if they go over to projects, they'll be able to see the projects that they have gotten right. And so right now, this client only has one-on-one -on -one coaching, and so um, attached to this project, um, they have their appointment schedulers, their invoices, and their contract and um, the document. So say for example, um, if Rebecca Joe does not want to sift through all the emails that I've probably sent to her in the past like four months, right? For her Google Drive link, because she just has, because like, she can't find it, or her scheduling, she can just go to her portal and click on the scheduler link right here, and she's able to quickly schedule her next appointment. And my internet is a little bit slow, but I promise it goes to the scheduler. <laughs> and then it's the same thing with um, with the documents, um, with the Google Drive link as well. Okay, and let's just and, and, and it takes them to the coaching call link. Okay, and um, then they'll see any past 
emails that we have. And then this is a really cool, cool thing where um, they can enter in, they can enter in their um, their own information. So anything that they want to change, say for example, if they want to update their address or if they want to update, uh, like update the company name, email, or if they want to add in an alternate contact, like say that, that they have an assistant now and they want their assistant to receive all the emails too, they can um, add them all right here themselves. And then um, some of their social media handles. So another thing that I um, like about Dubsado is the note section that I use a lot. So um, this is where, so for example, um, I, I like to keep notes of all my clients. So I like to um, know what I talked about um, in previous coaching calls, or if there's anything that I am assigning for them to do, um, I want to make sure that I remember it and put it somewhere special. So, and so instead of me like creating like an Evernote, like client log thing or creating like a notes app type of thing, it can just all be inside the photo. And so what I like to do is whenever I have a new call with someone, like as soon as that call starts, I um, start the note section. It has the time the, and, the, um, and the date, and then I just start typing. And so for example, like maybe I will um, create an agenda just for myself, just so that I, just so that I can keep myself like kind of, um, like on, on track of things that I want to hit. And then I'll have like client notes, like, oh my goodness, can I type? Um, notes that like stand out to me with, with client. And then maybe I um, told my client um, to do some things and they have some action items that I want to just want, that I just want to make sure that they complete across the span um, between like our next um, meeting, right? And then it all just saves there. And then I can just keep, creating call logs, or I can create a note section right here. And so um, the call log is like me just um, recording what I've done. And so another thing could be um, a call log for like whenever, if you were to call someone that is in reference to billing, like how many touch points you've had with a client, that is what a call log is for. And then for, um, and then for notes, it could be anything. Like I know what I've done before is um, included in the notes section, all of the clients, like social media handles, like a bio about them, um, anything that is unique that I want to always remember, um, I, I put it in the notes section. And so one more thing that I love is creating schedulers on the fly. I, I am going back to the scheduler because that's what I use. I use these things the most. <laughs> I use the scheduler, um, the contracts and um, the actual like projects the most. And so um, what I like to do, like what's happened is like, so for example, there is, is maybe there's something that someone wants to be coached on and, and I don't really have like a, I don't have like a set offer to do to um to give them but so let's just say maybe they want to do like a one hour and i really think that the client's a good fit and i really want to work with them well i can literally set up a scheduler and an invoice in like no time so we're gonna do that right now so what i can do is just add a template real quick i can just add a template create let's just say power ooh, power hour I mean, the, the appointment duration is, let's say, 60 minutes. And then when can this be a rolling day window of 14 days? OK, and then I can um, I can go ahead and adjust my time slots. So let's just say because so most of mine are like I only have client calls on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So Fridays are mine, okay. <laughs> so um, so we can do that, and then show me as busy. I can put my Zoom link in here so that um, all they have to do is just click on that whenever it's time to join, and then I can do a can like a can email, or I can just um just just leave this. Um, and then I go to advance. I like to prevent booking um less than twenty four hours because um. It just helps me. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta see you tomorrow. Oh, oh wow, I'm not even prepared. It kind of allows me to kind of just prepare for that client. Um, then I have like the buffers here, 
and then allow a maximum appointments per like per day. So let's just say, for example, now I'm like, oh, that was a really great thing to do. Like maybe I want to continue to do power hours, but I'm only going to allow um, two power hours um, per day. Or I could, or I could just um, allow this this the schedule to be just used like a few times. And then like that's it. So this would be really good if you were doing like a Black Friday thing and you're like, I only am going like where you're going to do like I'm only going to do power hours at this rate for um, the first five people. You can make this calendar um, link for only five people max, and then and then and then after that, no one else will be able to book it. And I can make a welcome message, a confirmation message um, right here. Sorry, um, this could be like a templated on um, one that you made or it'll just, um, it could either be a canned message that you make or it'll just send the already um, confirmation email that comes with Dubsado. And then this is where I wanted to show you the invoicing section. So I could just make an invoice here really quickly. So we, so we can do a power, power hour, and you can put like whatever you want to describe the hour for one. Let's say it's um, 797. And then we're going to go ahead and add that item here, right? And then we're going to do a notification just to, so I always do a notification. So I like to, um, to, to send an email reminder within 24 hours. And because I have it at, as my canned um, email, I just got to, Click that right here and press add and then save. And then now all I have to do is whenever I'm ready to share this with someone, I just click, click just, just click this link and, sh and, I, and there's a shareable link right here and you can share it just like that. Let's see. And so here you go. And so here you have the power hour the time, the availability for that. And then as soon as you click over, and so as soon as you complete this, let's just, um, as soon as you complete this, you will be um, taken over to the invoice section and then you pay the invoice. And so the good thing, thing, thing about it is that People don't just, um, people can't just stop here and then um, say, oh, well, I booked and I didn't know that I had to pay yet. Oh my gosh. Um, you have to submit the payment um, in order for the appointment to be um, to be secured, right? And so that's what, what, what I love about it. And then you just pay and then submit and finish. And you can do that. And this is one thing that I love. So um, this gratuity section, um, you'll be surprised how many people um, tip you. Like I've been tipped by surprise so many times. And it was like, it was nice to just, to just have. Like sometimes I just like, just add it to like get me in like an extra coffee a day or something like that. It's just really cool. And clients can choose to either pay with um, card or, or a check or whatever. Um, so that's just how easy it is. Just make a quick invoice and scheduling thing right into one and then just send it off. Okay, I think I was like talking forever, but does this um make sense? I think that's, um, I feel like that's, that's all that I wanna show you guys. Does this make sense so far? Are there any questions? Okay, so workflow. So I do, I do use um, work. So I use workflows at the very beginning of my um, of my like client acquisition. So what I do, let me take you back in here. Thank you for asking that question because I was just moving everywhere, girl. Okay, so um, and I made a little um, funnel right right here for everyone. So uh, we don't typically use workflows because I have been using, um, I think it's probably because like, I've, so I've been using workflow, so I've been using Dubsado for about two years now. And I think at, at the very beginning, I was like, oh man, um, workflows, I just want to send an invoice, right? Um, but as I started doing things over and over and, and over again, I was like, okay, 
now I see why why um, why Becca and and her team really um tell people to utilize and maximize the workflows um, feature because it makes things a lot easier. And so um so just just this part of the workflow, like when people when people come into like my Dubsado through the application, and so what happens is. Um, as soon as they as soon as they submit an, an application, I have an email automatically sent over to them that is the application pending email, right? And then I have a to do for me to um, review their application inside Dubsado. So as soon as they do it, I get notified and then I get tasked with reviewing the application. And then after that, after I have ex after I have let me go inside here. So after I have um, after I have reviewed the application, I want to send the sales call scheduler, but um, this only happens if I approve it. So what happens is whenever the, um, so whenever, let's just say for example, um, Rebecca Joe, the person right here, um, she submitted her, her application and I was like, okay, she is a great fit. I'm ready to hop on the call with her. Um, I'm gonna go inside her workflow and I'm going to go ahead and press approve. And then when I press approve, Dubsado is going to automatically send the schedule link with the scheduling um, uh, link um, default email that I've made for it, for the camera cam response email that I have for it. And then after that, um, by that time, um, she would have um, booked a call with me. We would have talked and we would have, um, and she would have been ready to begin. She would have chosen her package and everything like that. Because most of my stuff is, um, um, like 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 an invite only type of coaching program where um, I if I think that you're the great fit I um I offer one on one coaching to you if not I'll put you inside the group program or maybe we all will have an an intensive so the proposals feature doesn't really um work work for me but there was a time I'll talk about that in a, in a quick second but in <laughs> um in the um so. After that, after I, I approve it, they send the sales call um, scheduler. And then um, once that's booked and it's ready to go, um, I create a to, a to do for myself to send um, the onboarding information to my online business manager, Sam. And then and then she starts um, making sure that like the contract is saying the right terms and things like that. Um, and then that's kind of like where we stop because everything else is kind of customizable and there's ways to like even do workflows even more but i kind of um, most of my stress whenever it comes to um client management happens at the very beginning so i like using the booking funnel to do that because imagine like me working with other clients currently and then people are saying hey i want to work work like work with you but i don't want them to wait for me to like send them um like the sales call link or things like that i want that stuff to automatically happen so all i want to do is just is, is basically just review the application and press approve or review the application and um and send the no thank you email um and so i hope that makes does that make sense for everyone um okay let's see do you happen to use QuickBooks? Can you speak on speak to how they work together? So I um I don't currently use QuickBooks for my management. I use a service called Bench to manage all of my um fight like, to manage all of my like backend bookkeeping and things like that. But I but I know that that there is integration with QuickBooks and um and I believe that QuickBooks like allows um your allows like your transactions to easily be like matched up inside their platform. Let's see workflows and mm -hmm. I don't have a coaching business yet, but I am just a user. Yay, good. Okay. Um okay, are there any other questions you guys? I feel like I um, don't see any questions so far. If you're not currently using Dubsado, totally do it. Um, use my code Jamar Diggs um, for um, for I, I believe it's twenty percent off either for your first um, month or the year. Um, okay, yep, that's perfect. Yeah, you guys, thank you so much um, for joining me in this whole tutorial. Um, I hope 
This was very, very valuable. And I hope that this was so valuable. And I hope y'all have, have an amazing day. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. It's at Jamar Diggs. Yay. Yes, I was wondering if you were able to match your schedule with Zoom or similar platform. Oh, that's, that's a great, great question. Um, so for Zoom, I put my personal Zoom link inside the location. But um, if you guys are in the if you guys are in the Dubsado um, community group, I believe Becca showed that there's something in the works to work with that even better. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, so I think something like that is in the works. But right now, um, I have no issues with putting my personal Zoom ID inside my in, inside my um, lo my location, especially since my business is um, online and virtual based. I don't really use the the, the locations um, section, so it works well for me. Yeah. So thank you guys for attending. Um, have a great day. If there's no more questions, I don't want to use up too much of y'all's time.